yes what's good you guys it's your girl stephanie here with another haul so i just got back from birmingham i had some um business to attend to out there you know just meeting with some people out there um and so if y'all are not familiar with birmingham it's about 45 minutes to an hour away from tuscaloosa um but they got a trader joe's there that's the closest trader joe's i believe and so when i go i needed to stock up so i asked y'all on instagram what i needed to get from trader trader joe's so this will be a trader joe's haul um some of the stuff i'm like i've had before and i thought was of course delicious um, but then some of the stuff y'all put me on, so I'm going to be tr um, trying some new stuff as well. Since I did drive 45 minutes, um, this haul is going to be super quick because half my stuff is probably melted by now. But it's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. And then if y'all are wondering about this lighting, the lighting in my apartment is still orangey. I hate it. Um, so I do have a softbox up, so if y'all see light just from this side. Um, my counter is right here. It's just it is gonna be like this. Okay, so Let's just go ahead and start with the first bag um, But yeah, I really just stocked up because I don't go out to Birmingham that often like I've been there Three times including this time since I've been here. So um, When I go over there, I definitely need, like to make that stop at TJ's so the first thing I got which everyone was raving about was the roasted plantain chips I've had plantain chips before. Obviously, when I went to Africa, I had plantain chips. Those were so good, and I've had some from like other stores, but I've never had the TJ's ones, so I'll see how those taste, but I've heard great, great things about them from y'all. Then I got some giggly, giggly, I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically it's pasta, and I had this type of pasta when I went to um, this restaurant in Portland, and so I was like, oh, let me try to make it. So I just got that. I don't remember prices for anything, but I'm sure y'all could like find them. The prices online, and of course I had to pick up the oh so infamous cookie butter. So yeah, that's pretty much so explanatory. And then I also picked up these honey wheat pretzel sticks. Um, I heard, I don't, Ilyasha, if you watch this video, were these the sticks you were talking about? Um, if not, let me know, but I mean these look good regardless, but I heard that these are, <clears throat> that um, the pretzels are good in the um, cookie butter. And then I also had to go full with it because we're in the fall season, so I picked up this autumnal, I, is that how you say it? Aut autumnal? 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 Harvest y'all I'm in grad school. I don't even know how to speak. Please lord help us. Anyways um, this creamy pasta sauce made it with pumpkin and butternut butternut squash So that'll be really good. This was in like the little pumpkin not little it's actually quite large pumpkin area that they had um, So of course I had to pick something up from there and then of course being the <laughs> budding wine connoisseur that I am. I had to pick up two different wines. The first one I got is this Charles Shaw Pinot Grigio. Um, this was, I remember, $2.99. They call this the two buck chuck, even though now it's three bucks. Um, but this wine I've heard is like actually really, really good, especially for being um, only $3. So, that's that on that. And then Simba told me to get the Trader Joe's Reserve Zif Ziffendale, but I didn't see the Ziffendale, I just saw Chardonnay. So I'm gonna try the Chardonnay and see how I like it. Um, I used to be really heavy on the red ones, but I'm trying to switch over to white and like, you know, expand my palette and all that fun stuff. And then we are on to the next bag. So the first thing in this bag is the Sriracha and Roasted Garlic Barbecue Sauce. Anybody who knows me, um, knows I love sauce. I think Sarah recommended this one. So I'm definitely gonna try this out, but like seriously, my fridge, the entire door is just sauce. I love hot sauce, there's all types of sauces. And then I have this French roast cold brew coffee. Um, I just felt started following this girl on Instagram and she has a blog and she had this really like yummy recipe for iced coffee using this. She used um, almond milk, but I'm gonna use coconut milk since I'm allergic to almonds. And then she put like turmeric and um, honey and cinnamon in it. So it's supposed to be like good for you, but like also low fat. 
So I got that. This um, makes 12 eight ounce cups of coffee. Then I just got this organic whole wheat pasta. I just ran out of whole wheat pasta. So I thought I would pick that up. And then I picked up turmeric just cause I was there. So why not? I'm holding it up like it's makeup or something. And then I also picked up this chili lime seasoning blend. Um, when when you go to LA or Mexico or like any like Southern like food, like Spanish Southern food, um, they put a lot of chiles and limes on their food. So I'm gonna put this on like my fruit and my corn. Um, I think it's like tahine, but different. I don't really know what the difference between this and tahini is, but I do love tahini, so we'll see how this is. And then um, I got two Diet Hansen's flavors. So I, ever since I started grad school, I don't know, I've just been like drinking, I'm missing it, <laughs> drinking a lot of Diet Coke, which I know is not good for you. Um, so I'm trying to find something without the it's aspartamine, aspart whatever, whatever the bad stuff they, that they put in the um, Diet Coke. Okay, we're just having random pieces of pasta for um, But Hanson's doesn't have that, so it's caffeinated, which is great. We stand a caffeine, no it's not caffeinated. Okay, it's caffeine free, but it's fine. I still like bubbles, okay? Um, and it doesn't have that stuff in it, and it's diet. So I got diet ginger ale, and I got uh, the diet tangerine lime. So I love soda, um, but this is as as bad for you as diet soda and stuff. Oh, oh wait, let me show the monogram part. Okay, ooh, this is my back in 31. It's monogrammed, of course, so Southern and Um uh, But this has all my frozen cold stuff and cold stuff in it. I got some naan, which is basically Indian bread. Um, that's that on that. <laughs> it has four pieces, yeah. Um, this Mexican roasted corn with cotija cheese. This stuff is so good. Actually, I feel like I should have picked up two, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I got this broccoli slaw, so I can put these in like different um, like rice bowls, or I can and like saute it, or uh, make a salad out of it, or make a slaw out of it. But I'll probably just saute and use in the rice bowls. And then I got this coffee mochi. Uh, with a saucy mocha center. So, I've never tried mochi, but I've heard good, good things, and this is the only flavor that was appealing to me out of all of them. So I did that. Then I picked up the Trader Joe's Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese. Then I also picked up, ooh, yes, this is melting, the Mandarin Orange Chicken. Arugula. Parmigiano, Reggiano, Reggiano, Ravioli. Okay, y'all, please do not come for me because I do not know how to pronounce these these words. Okay, but I know it looks good and it's Italian. Okay, and then barbecue chicken teriyaki. Pretty straightforward, just looks like that. And then I just picked up some Munster cheese to make sandwiches. Um, the spicy Italian chicken sausage. I heard this was really good. I'll either, I'll probably just cut this up for like omelets and stuff, or like cut it up and put it in a pasta. And then soy chorizo, y'all. Okay, actual chorizo is not <laughs> the best for you. So I got the soy one, um, because it's not made out of pig, and it's better for you. So this will be really good in my eggs, or if I'm trying to make um, a, which I'm call breakfast burrito. Then I picked up this green goddess salad dressing with avocado, green onion, cold pressed lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. This looks really good, y'all. I don't even like avocado like that, but I it just I need to try it. Like it looks amazing. Then I got this bruschetta sauce. Um, it has Roma tomatoes, olive oil, basil, and garlic. Um, so I'm going to. You could use it as a bruschetta or you can use it as a pasta sauce. I'm gonna use it as a pasta sauce and just mix it in with probably one of these various pastas that I picked up. And then I also got, oh, love this stuff. Spinach tortellini. 
Um, tortellini stuff with spinach and ricotta mozzarella and parm cheese ready in minutes. I had this, well I had the cheese cotton when I was in LA um, with my friend Londa and we would just make that with like pesto sauce and it was so good, so delicious. And then I just got some turkey breast for sandwiches. And then, what else did I get? I got these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I heard that these were really good. Ooh, bug. I heard that these were really good as well. And then I just picked up some frozen blueberries. Um, I was looking at the fresh ones, but they were like seven bucks for a container. I was like, you know what, sis? I'm leaving in a few days anyways, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but I'm just gonna use this in like my yogurt or um, thawed out and put it on my oatmeal. And then I just picked up some cream cheese, uh, soft spread roll, light cream cheese, um, just because I ran out and I needed some. I have bagels in the morning. Um, and then chili lime chicken burgers. Also, I heard that these were flames. And then I have three more things here. I picked up this butternut squash mac and cheese. Um, I honestly was just walking by and it looks interesting to me. I don't know if I'll like it. Actually, I like, eh. we'll see. We'll see if, it goes, if it's good. It sounds good. It has. Uh, rigatoni pasta, butternut squash puree, blend, and a blend of gouda, cheddar, and parmesan cheese. So I don't think it'll be bad, um, but we'll see. I mean, is anything from Trader Joe's bad? If y'all don't like, if there's an item from Trader Joe's that you don't like, put it down in the comments so I can hear. And then the um, second to last thing I got was this coconut beverage. Is it? Um, what's the difference between this and coconut milk? Dairy free. Okay. Well, we will we will open this. And, so I'm just gonna compare it to my silk. Okay. Well, this is by the other milk stuff. So I hope it's milk. I just picked it up because I thought it was coconut milk, but it's coconut beverage. But I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's just taste this right now. Why not? Why the heck not? And I know Trader Joe's, if you don't like something, you can return it. But I'm not driving an hour to return this whole thing of coconut beverage. So hopefully I like it. If I don't, I can just mix it in a smoothie or something. Oh yeah. That's really good. With the vanilla in it, yup. That would be really good for my coffee. So cool coconut beverage. Then I picked up this sweet potato gnocchi. Um, I was looking for the cauliflower one because that's like a cult favorite and I wanted to try it. Um, but they told me they it wouldn't be in stock for like another week. So I guess I got the sweet potato. <laughs> But when I checked out, the guy was like, oh yeah, this is really good. So I'll take his word for it. I don't see why it wouldn't be good. Um, but we'll see. I'm not the biggest sweet potato fan, but if I you know, mix it with some spices and all of that, then um, hopefully it's delicious. But that's... Ooh, my arms look hella long. It's my Trader Joe's haul. Um, thank y'all for chiming in on Instagram. If there's something that I didn't pick up, leave it down below. Or if there's something I picked up that you think is disgusting, also leave that down below. And if y'all liked videos like this one, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and let me know how you enjoyed this video because love me more um, videos like this. All right, have a good one, y'all.